Hi guys, I've put together a really useful video on all the best keyboard shortcuts for Cubase 10 and Cubase 9. I bet there's some you don't know. Let's do it. Okay guys, so we've got a lot to get through, lots of shortcuts to learn, so let's get on with it. Uh, let's start off with some simple ones. So you've got G and H on your keyboard to zoom in and out. H zooms out. G zooms in. Shift G and H does it vertically, so Shift and G zooms out vertically, Shift H makes the tracks taller, and of course this saves you having to come over here and doing all this business over here with these scrollers here. Another way to zoom in is Control and use your scroll wheel, and that will scroll into wherever your mouse is, which is quite very, very handy, I use that all the time. And also Shift and scroll wheel will do you left and right. So. Shift and down, scrolls left, shift and scroll up on your scroll wheel, goes to the right. That's another really useful one which I use all the time. If you can get in the habit of that, your workflow will improve dramatically. Another fab one is Z to zoom in. I use this all the time. Click on the track you want, press Z, and you immediately get a huge waveform. So good for editing vocals, that kind of thing. And it's so much quicker than coming here and having to drag this out like this. So another way to adjust the track size is control and down and control and up. That's quite useful as well. And control left and right will shift the audio or the MIDI part along the quantize value you've got set up here. So control left and right, just to shift that along. That's quite useful. Okay, click on any audio or MIDI part and click L. That will go to the left hand side of that part. Really handy. And if you want to go to the left locator and right locator of the loop, just press number one on your number pad and number two to go to the right side. This is on your number pad, not the normal number keys. Now onto my favorite one, you select any audio part or MIDI part and press P and it'll automatically set your left and right locators, but doesn't always include the loop function. So let's just try it again on another part, press P and yes, it hasn't looped it. So it might even more favorite one is Alt and P because it will set the loop. It will do the same thing, but it will set the loop active and it will press play for you as well. So, so let's just say you wanted this one here. You want to quickly loop that Alt and P. It sets the, le the left and right locators. It puts the loop in motion and presses play. That's my favorite one. It's such a time saver. So to get the mixer up, uh, obviously you can press F3, but you can also do Alt and F3 to get it in the lower zone. Of course, you can press your lower zone up here. Okay, now looking at the lower zone, uh, Control, Alt and Down will cycle through the different options on the left, whether you want inserts and sends, etc. And Control, Alt, Left and Right will scroll between what you see in the window, mix console, editor, sampler, or chord pads. This is really great if you much prefer keyboard shortcuts rather than use the mouse all the time. Next one, let's say you're zoomed right into the project and you want to come right out of it. Rather than keep pressing zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, just press shift and F and it puts the whole project onto the arrange window. Another really useful function. My favorite ones from the number pad on the right side of your keyboard is the divide key, which puts the loop on and off. That's really handy. Star key for recording. Plus button to scroll forward, minus button to scroll backwards. Enter is play. Zero is stop. Full stop is go back to start. Okay, Alt and F3 to get rid of that lower zone. Let's make these taller by Shift G and H. And we're gonna hit number two on the normal numbers on your keyboard to choose the range tool. Uh, this is quite useful because you can just highlight more than one part and either apply a fade, which is A, or you can say, let's come in here, let's say you don't like this little bit here. You can either quickly delete it by using backspace, just undo that with Control Z. Oh, by the way, to redo is Control Shift Z. So you can either delete it or you can cut both sides. So Shift and X is cut both sides. And then you can just come in here and you can reduce the volume or whatever you want with it. So that's really handy, that range tool. Control Z, undo that. So press three for the scissors tool. Just cut that. 
right click to go back to normal and overlapping literally does just overlap let's just zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing these uh, sort of cross lines means it's just overlapped but if you press X you get a crossfade so that's really really handy I use that a lot in editing J is your snap on and off up here that's really handy rather than keep coming up here all the time and clicking snap on and off number one obviously selects your main selection tool or object selection but when you've already got it selected it will cycle through the different options and if you press it twice you get time stretching which is really really handy let's just say you wanted to time stretch this loop out a little bit so there you go easily done with the, with the number one button let's put that back to normal Control z just quickly go through your f keys the main ones are f2 for transport bar some people prefer to have the, the transport bar sort of separate and not in the lower zone. F3 is your mixer, as we've already said. Alt 3 to put the mixer in the lower zone. F4 is your audio connections. F5 is your media bay, but I always come over to the right side for media bay. F6 is your automation settings, occasionally use that one. F7 is direct offline processing. F8 is your video player. F11 is your VST instruments rack, but again, you can do that on the right hand side under VST. And 12 is your audio performance. Some people like to have that showing. Just a couple of bonus ones before we go. Alt and K will bring up your keyboard so you can play your computer keyboard as a MIDI keyboard. That's really useful if you don't have a MIDI keyboard. One I use all the time is Control and D. So, so highlight a MIDI or an audio part, Control D. Or highlight them both and of course you could just carry on pressing Control D really useful for doing making an arrangement so you highlight the whole thing so Control A to highlight the whole thing and just press Control D and you can just duplicate sections across to make an arrangement and my last one is F for auto scroll which is this function up here so if your playhead comes off the screen on that time it's scrolled if we turn the scroll off and go off the screen it doesn't scroll so F is really useful for that so that's it guys I tried to put in as many keyboard shortcuts as I could mostly they're the ones that I use but I did get some other ones from other videos but hopefully having them all in one place is really really useful for you so if you found this video helpful please subscribe and hit the bell this will ensure you don't miss out on any other useful videos that we do. And we are starting to put videos up quite regularly now. So make sure you hit the bell. And please like the video because this helps us a lot. And please comment below and maybe give us some suggestions for future tutorials. All the best guys. I'm Jay from BornToProduce.com and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.